We started Copyfolio, our portfolio and website builder for writers, marketers, and social media professionals almost three years ago and have released a lot of features since then. Today I thought I would show you all of these features so you can get an idea on what you can do with Copyfolio. Let's get started. First we will start with the onboarding. I will show you how you can register and create your site. You will have to start by writing your name. Today, today we will be called Nora Wright. After that, the simple onboarding process will ask you to select your profession. Um, we're gonna be social media managers today. Uh, and then the goal of your site. These are important because we will generate your starter site based on this information. Now I will choose all three of these options, build portfolio, showcase services, and write a blog. And then you get the first feature I wanna highlight, which are templates. Similar to other website builders as well, Copyfolio has many templates for you to choose from. As you can see, the content in these template previews is all the same, and that's because this is based on the goals that you chose, meaning what sections you get there and what pages, and also your profession. What is different uh, about these templates is the way the top section, called the hero section, looks like, and also the style of your title, sections, footers, and buttons. If you like the look of any of the templates, you can simply click on the preview image and then scroll through an example site made with the template. You can also check how it looks on mobile view. But if you are not a big fan of it, you can just click this arrow to go back and choose another one. For this example, we are going to go uh, with artboards. Just click start with this template and Copyfolio will generate a starter site with three pages for you. Staying on topic of the templates, uh, as I mentioned, you can change your template anytime. And to do that, just click design to open the design panel and within that, click template. You will see the preview image of these other templates here alongside with their names. And if you click on any of them, a Copyfolio will show how your site would look with that template on the side. Now the design panel will squeeze your site a little bit so the text might break a little differently. So if you want to really see how your site would look like, just hit save, close the design panel and then you can see it on your site. But let's check a few of the other ones. Uh, for example, billboard is one with more of a dark mode. Journal is also very popular. Poster. Let's go with Premiere for this example. So I'm going to hit save. And since we are already in the design panel, the next one I want to highlight is the color palette. In a lot of other website builders, if you want to change the colors on your site, you will have to go through section by section, change the color of every element individually. But in Copyfolio, you have palettes. So what palettes do is that if you click on one, it will change the colors of your whole site. We have some more subtle ones with lighter backgrounds like in clone or cone flower dip. We have more intense ones if you want a really outstanding look like a cardboard clip, Oxford, basalt is very popular. And we have some more colorful ones in the tinted section like champagne or bronze gilt. Or if you want something different because you don't like the look of any of these, you can create a custom color palette, which is a great option if you already have a very specific brand color. What you can do is first choose the main color. Here you can give your color code as an RGB, HSL or hex code. You can simply input that or choose the color that you want from this picker here. And then how it works is that based on that color, uh, Copyfolio will generate options for you. Then you can choose what you want as a background. We always have stark white or some tinted ones based on your chosen color. We have shapes and lines because some templates have some decorative elements that you can choose the color of. Then buttons and links. The buttons of this template are outlined so you cannot really see it that well on here but you can change the color of that too. And then last but not least paragraphs and headings. There. Another fun thing uh, is that if you choose these shades and then change the main color, then it will actually keep your selections and just change the tint of the color based on the main color uh, as you are uh, adjusting it. But for this example, let's go with olive and sage. Fonts work similarly to colors. They come in font pairs or font presets. 
um, we always have one for headings and one for paragraphs and we have categorized it for you into three categories. You have the sans serifs in the clean category like satoshi, epilogue, clash display. We have some more dramatic ones like the cormorant fonts, uh, Ibarra or my personal favorite melodrama for headings. And then we have the serif fonts in the classic category like Gambetta uh, or Liberata, Gramond. But for this site, let's do Gambetta for headings. Next, let's talk about the sections. First, on the top of your homepage, we have what we call the hero section, which always have a text part that you can add a button or social media icons to, and then usually it also has an image. You can easily change the image by hovering over it and clicking edit image, and either upload an image of your own or choose one from our stock photo library with pixels. Other than that, if you want to add new sections, all you have to do is click this little plus icon or add section button and then you will see the add section window. You will notice that the content in the window will always look like your site, taking up your color palette and font presets. And any section that you choose from here will be filled with content based on your profession. Now we have some thematic ones in categories for you that will help you introduce yourself, showcase your services, answer frequently asked questions, help people get in touch with you, showcase your previous clients and their logos, or add testimonials, show your portfolio, or write a blog. Other than that, if you don't like these thematic options, we have the basic text-based sections or media-based sections like simple images, galleries, and collages. And actually, a lot of our thematic sections are built from these basic ones, just filled with content for you. So I will go through and show you how those work. As you can see here, I have a text section, which is made up of two text modules, one on the left, another one on the right. And these basic sections are modular. So if I delete this text part, then I'm left with one text module, but I can add another one back in. As you can see, here's a selection of things you can add. You can add a text, an image, embed the video, add the contact form, or a quote. You can mix and match all of these and create whatever you would like. And if you have two modules but want to change their order, swap left and right, then all you have to do is hover over the middle and click this little arrow and it will swap them for you. Now we do have some sections that are not made with these and I will quickly run you through it. First, we have the resume section, which also kind of has text modules, but it works a little differently because they are stacked on top of each other and you can add more by clicking this text button. As you can see, if, and if you click into them, they will have kind of a two column table. If you want to replicate that in another section, all you have to do is click into the text section and click this two column list in the text toolbar. And other than that, you can also use bulleted or numbered lists. Another section that's a little more special is the services section. It's basically four columns for you with images and then text underneath. If you do not want the images, you can open the section settings and quickly hide them. Or if you do want them, you can also change their shape here from horizontal to square <coughs> or vertical. You can drag and drop them if you want to rearrange them and just rewrite this, the text or upload a different picture if you'd like. Another section that is a little more special is the logo wall section, which works quite similarly to the services section in a way that you can drag and drop them to rearrange, add the new one with clicking this add button on the side. And a special feature of this that I would like to highlight is, as you can see, the colors of these logos are unified with the color palette of the site. You can switch it off if you want to see the original colors of the logos, but this little setting will help you make your site look more cohesive. And the last two special sections are actually features on their own that I would like to show you. One is adding your projects into a portfolio. It appears as a separate section here called portfolio, and it will add your projects into a grid. If you click add project here, then you will see your three options. You can either create a case study page, upload a PDF, or add an external link. Whichever of these you choose, 
Copyfolio will add a thumbnail image for you. And whenever you click on that image, the page, PDF or link will open in a new tab or on the same page for you. You can write the title for it and write a description if you would like. I will add a few projects here to show you what you can do with this grid. Okay, now I have four projects here and let's open the section settings. In the section settings of the portfolio section, you can change the spacing from regular to tight. You can change the size of the thumbnails, which will determine how many columns you have here. By default, it's medium with three columns, but you can change it to small with four columns or large with two columns. You can also change the shape of the thumbnails to vertical, horizontal, or having the original aspect ratio of the image. You can also decide whether you want to show or hide the descriptions and it's a really a great way to showcase your project easily and aesthetically. Another section that's a feature on its own is the blog section because you can actually write a blog right on Copyfolio. It works a little similar to the portfolio section as you see uh, that you have an add blog post button here and when you click it, it will create a blog post for you. It has a thumbnail image that you can change, a title and a short description. In the section settings, you can also change the date format or decide what you want the read more button to say. Uh, if you click on the thumbnail image, it will take you to the blog post itself where you can use sections you know and love from Copyfolio to write your blog post. And since we're on the topic of blog posts, let's talk about SEO settings. Because if you're writing a blog, there's a good chance that you would like to drive traffic from search engines to your website with your blog post. To change the SEO settings of your blog post or any other page for that matter, you can click on this draft blog post uh, button and click SEO settings or just open the settings panel on the top and then click search engine optimization. In that menu, you will see all the pages that you have and you can just look for the one you would like to set and click edit metadata. Here you can set the meta title, the URL slug and the meta description and you can also upload a social media preview image. And since we're in the settings panel, let me show you what else we have in here. There is a section for domains because you can actually buy a custom domain right on Copyfolio. All you have to do is click get a new domain write the domain name that you would like to have or we are actually going to recommend you the ones with your name and when you found the one you like just click purchase once you pay for it it will be set up automatically including an ssl certificate for you you don't have to uh, do anything else you just sit back relax and you have a working domain or if you already have one somewhere else you can easily connect that to your site just click connect a domain you own enter your domain and you will find the instructions on how to do that if you don't want a custom domain though but still want to customize your link so it looks a little more professional under domains you can also change your copyfolio url from a random string of letters to something that you would like uh, other than that, you can set the privacy of your site. For that, we currently have three options. You can have your site as public. You can have your site as hidden, which means that anyone with the link can open it, but search engines will not index it. Or you can also do password protection, where if someone enters the link to your site, they will see an input field where they have to put in the password in order to be able to check out your site. Other than that, you can also set a custom favicon for your site, which is none other than the little browser icon that appears in the browser tab next to the title of your site. And it will help people recognize your site easily amongst all the other tabs that they have open. We do have some presets for that, that will put your initials using your site's colors and heading font uh, into some shapes like this simple um, square, a circle or a floral pattern or under the custom tab you can upload your own just make sure you use um, a square shaped image that will look good in a small leaf size as well 
Another feature I wanted to show you are page presets. Apart from using sections that are filled with custom content for you, page presets also make website building so much faster. If you want to add a page to your website, then all you have to do is hover over your top navigation bar and click this add page button and you will see all the presets we have for you here. These are also categorized similarly to the sections into showcasing your services, process, clients, adding an about me page, your resume, contact page, one for your portfolio or one for your blog. But of course, if you don't like these presets and want to do something from scratch, then you can just click blank page at the top and it will add just that an empty page for you to do whatever you would like. And last but not least is Site Insights, that is one of the newest features of Copifolio when I'm recording this. It will help you learn about your site visitors and track your site's performance easily. You, all you have to do is click Site Insights in the top bar of the editor. Uh, this data that you will see here on the screen recording is actually fake this, since this is a false site that I just set up, but I can show you what kind of information you will see. You can learn how many people visited your site and which pages you visited, with which you can find out which were your most popular pages, projects or blog posts. You will also see where they came from regarding country or traffic source and what device they used to check out your site. You can use all this data to optimize your site so people do exactly what you want them to do on your site and convert. These were the features I wanted to show you in Copifolio today. If you think there's any feature really missing from Copifolio, then let us know in the comments or write us an email at team at copyfold.io. We'd love to hear your thoughts and read your feedback because we're really trying to prioritize what our users need when we're deciding what to do next in Copifolio. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful and I will see you in the next one.